Coming up on this episode of The Frock Show, we review some nice new biscuits. <laughs> we have a look at some upcoming reviews on the channel. Oreo Thins Pistachio, and we have a look in the drawers. Welcome to The Frock Show. Yes, hello, welcome, my name is Michael Jameson, aka MJ, and today, as always, we will kick it off with the news. Bit of a confession, guys, I do film this usually two to three weeks in advance of the video actually going up. So this news, it's not tending to be cutting-edge news. In fact, this first piece of news, we've got uh, some new Doritos coming out in the UK. They're Doritos Collisions. Now these have actually come out in America and have been quite a roaring success apparently in America. But we're getting two brand new flavours over here so that's good. They are actually available now so this is news slash you can actually get these from Morrison's. I uh, don't know if they're anywhere else yet. There's habanero chilli and guacamole flavour and there's honey glazed ribs and lemon blast flavour. So you get two different flavours in a bag. Very cool idea and I have to say I absolutely love the packaging on these. Another cool piece of news is Red Bull are releasing a range of non-energy drinks. These are called Red Bull Organics and there's four varieties. A tonic water, a ginger ale, a lemonade and a cola. I will be interested to try them. I think Red Bull is actually owned by Coca-Cola, so it'll be interesting to try Red Bull Organics Cola. And I strongly ponder on if it'll taste very similar to Coca-Cola. It'd be really interesting to find that out. Right, now let's go over to the first review, guys. I am going to review Whole Earth Organic Sparkling Cola. So from one discussion of cola to another. Yeah? Yeah. Where did I get it from? I think you'll be... Brilliant. I think you'll be surprised where I got it from. I got it from Pound Stretcher. Yeah, to be fair, I've been in a few Pound Stretchers. I wasn't usually too impressed with them, but we were recently in uh, sort of Utopsita, that neck of the woods, near Alton Towers, and we went in a Pound Stretcher there, and they had so much stuff. I picked up actually quite a lot of stuff that I wasn't expecting to see. It was pretty good, guys, and we did film a vlog from Alton Towers. Why would you go near Alton Towers if not to simply go to Alton Towers, right? Hashtag preview flavour. But that is what the product looks like. From my perspective, it's quite a light brown, but it looks slightly different on camera for you. Hmm. Right. Smells good, and to be honest, that preview flavour was pretty good. Let's give it a try, guys. Ooh. That's interesting. Seems to be better in small doses. It's a small dose, quite crisp, quite refreshing, and you can sort of taste the botanicals in this more than sort of your normal average cola. It's not too distant from Fentimans, so it's probably closer to Fentimans than normal cola. But then, really, the main overriding flavour that I'm getting is sort of quite strong actually of cola pop. Like, you know, those Mr. Freeze um, type things, the long. Pops, you know, frozen pops, freeze pops, that's what I mean. Melted freeze pops, basically what it tastes like. It's actually not too bad. It's not too bad at all. These guys, they make um, they make some peanut butter as well, don't they? So it's those guys, so that's cool. Not Meridian, Meridian's better than that, also I've had. I'm not sure I've ever had whole earth peanut butter. There you go, I'm making aspiratations. Aspiratations? I wonder why I said that, because I'm not... If it is a word, I don't think I know what it means. I probably mean aspersions. I'm casting aspersions. Yeah, this is totally fine though. I'll give it three stars. Right, now let's preview some upcoming reviews on the channel. So guys, upcoming reviews. I thought I'd give you a little sneak peek. If you are a Patreon supporter, you would have seen this ages ago because Patreon supporters, if you're at, uh, I think it's around the $5 tier and over, you get some extra content and one of those extra contents is seeing our schedule. So you would have seen this weeks ago if you were on Patreon, guys. Do support us. We'd love that extra little kick of flavour from money. Which does, joking apart, it does help us to uh, buy products that you wouldn't necessarily see from us because we wouldn't be able to afford them, like spending £6 on white chocolate hazelnut spread. Oh my god, that looks so £5.60 though. That's actually that? reduced to clear as well. I was down from 7 50 Oh fuck, Claire, I think that video ain't up yet though. It will be soon, but coming very soon, 
If it, in fact, if you're watching this on the morning that's gone live, tonight, we've got the World Cup pizza, that match day pizza they've released. I'm just seeing the thumbnail. The thumbnail, you're gonna, it's gonna spoil what I thought of it, but there we go. Uh, in the next few days, we've got Oreos, Oreo Thins Pistachio. We know you love the shopping vlog, so we've got MS shopping vlog, uh, and also we've got the last ever review from Nate's current house, and he's moving sort of very, very soon. May even have moved by the time this video goes up. But the Fruck Buddies reviewed Fanta Cream Soda. Amazing stuff. Now, from one upcoming immediate food reviews to foods that I've not even reviewed yet. Let's go and have a look in the drawer thing. Here's a look in the drawer. So, we've got some brand new products here, guys. Have you seen these, um, these new Robinsons ones? This one's Raspberry Rhubarb and Orange Blossom. Looks really nice. That's a cordial. Got another cordial, actually. This one's from Waitrose. Raspberry and Vanilla Cordial. I think that looks really nice. And we've got another one of these uh, Robinsons ones, crushed lime and mint. So uh, you can pretty much tell it's the summer months, can't you? Because of these cordials. Got Haribo Squidgelet. So I'm actually about to review these in a separate video. That's new. Hey guys, this is one of those products I was talking about from Pound Stretcher. Morrow. Heard a few things about these. I, th I think they're basically like sort of Cadbury Mars bar sort of thing. Uh, another good product in here, Round Trees Randoms Sours, which is pretty cool. We've got a few bags of sweets in here. Haribo Jelly Babies, the reason I bought these, double trouble, well, uh, the reason I bought these is because look, there's rhubarb and apple and elderflower flavours, so there's some interesting stuff. Uh, and also quite a recent one is the Tangfastics Fruit Spritzers. So lots of bags of sweets, lots of refreshing drinks. Now, let's get into the fridge. No guys, I'm not lazy, I'm not just in the fridge because I was already in the kitchen. We've got some good products coming soon on the channel here, look look at this guys. Actually this is interesting, does your local t sort of peri peri off brand takeaway have these little sauces? I never really go to those sort of off brand peri peri places, but we went to one last night, we've got one near us called uh, Rubino's I think it's pronounced. It was bloody banging. Shout out to my homeboys, anyone in Ellsbury. Uh, Charlie Biggums will be doing a few more reviews for these products shortly. This is the Chicken Tikka Masala. We were actually looking for their brand new range because Charlie Biggums sent us some vouchers, but we couldn't find them. They didn't have them in the Waitrose, which was a shame. But we did find the new flavour of Pots & Co, Salted Caramel Brulee. I cannot wait to try this one. Uh, also features the new rebrand for Pots & Co there, which I think looks really good. Really bold and they've done a great job on the rebrand. Try and point out anything interesting. We went to a place called White Row Farm yesterday to celebrate the niece's birthdays. So we bought some nice cakes from the farm shop there. Uh, that's a really weird drink that we're going to be doing at some point. I can't remember what was in it. Uh, sparkling water with grape juice and herbal infusions. Just sounds weird to me. Uh, probably, probably the most exciting thing in this fridge is wow, Bailey's strawberries and cream. That is pretty cool. I cannot wait to try that. Bye. Second review of the episode, guys, is going to be the. <laughs> McVitie's Hobnobs Thins. So, the Thins, thin versions of biscuits, turns out it's been a pretty pretty healthy launch in the UK, I guess at least for McVitie's. I think things like Maryland Thins, unfortunately, probably the best thin I've had actually, and they seem to have been discontinued. I'm not 100% sure, but they seem to have been discontinued because I did see them in Pound Stretcher. And they were like reduced, even in there they were reduced, so who knows. But this is what these look like. The, sorry, the point of that conversation was that McVitie's are releasing brand new flavours. They've released these and of course they've just released the uh, Choco, fill, Choco Filled or Choco Fillables. Uh, filled versions of the digestives. Wow, you guys are getting two hashtag preview flavours in this episode. You can thank the melty chocolate and the tightly wrappedness for that. Uh, very light, obviously. It's a thin version of a hobnob. Hobnob. 
Hob Dob. Here we go. Hmm. Now, I think everyone, not everyone, but I think a lot of people love hobnobs. I think they're a widely regarded biscuit, especially the chocolate ones. But I'd say their texture isn't usually so crisp or so crunchy. A bit of crunch. It's more crumbly and oaty. So one could argue, what's the point of a thin version? Hmm. And from my initial bites, do I agree with that? Maybe. I've fairly little to say about this. The chocolate ratio is higher on this than it is on a normal chocolate coated hobnob, I would say. But that spiel that I said earlier about the texture, actually generally speaking I probably prefer the textures of all the thins biscuits. I just find them quite satisfying. You don't really get that satisfying element with other biscuits. I wonder what other types of thins we could see. Maybe like rich tea, that would be fairly interesting. I know those are quite thin anyway, but... Guys, let me know in the comments below, what McVitie's biscuits would you like to see as a thin version? That's a good question, actually. Now, anyway, back to these. The hobnob flavour comes through well still. They're sweet, they're nice. It's, ex it's exactly what you would expect. It's really, it's not the most interesting product, but it doesn't mean that it's a bad product. I'd give it a, or an, I'd give it an alarmingly high three stars. <sighs> Maybe I'm being a little harsh not giving it a four. It is very tasty, but it's just good stuff, guys. Now let's have a look at your photos. Like I say, we do film these episodes a couple of weeks in advance. So if you have since posted a hashtag the Fruct Show on Instagram, then hopefully it'll be, it'll be in the next episode. But we've only got one this week, guys. Uh, this is Train Spotter Southwest, and it is Mountain Dew Citrus Blast. It's the UK version of Mountain Blue, and they've actually asked, have ever tried it? I have tried it. I do think the UK version of Mountain Dew is pretty good. It's not as good as the US version. Uh, I'm not sure we've actually got a review on the channel for Mountain Dew products. We've, we've, we've done some. I definitely think we've done some, but I suspect that... I suspect they're American ones. Let me have a quick look, guys. Give me this courtesy. Do you want to come along for the ride? Oh, that's a good recommended video, right there. The Frog Show. Food Review UK Mountain Dew. What we got? Mountain Dew Game Fuel, so that's the red one. Mountain Dew Kickstart Slurpee. That's crazy, guys. Have I only done two... Oh, Baja Blast. That is Mountain Dew Baja Blast. I reckon I've only done those... I reckon I've only done those three. Wow. You have just highlighted that this is clearly an underrepresented brand on the channel. So I will endeavour you to do more Mountain Dew reviews. Get on Instagram, guys. Get on that hashtag, The Fruck Show, and your photos will be featured on the show. Even if you put hashtag... The Frog Show hashtag MJ is an absolute knobber. Yeah, your photo will still appear. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know you, what you want to see in upcoming episodes of The Frog Show. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. And take it easy now.